Today, we are going to be using the Patchwork Cutters Make a Pram Set. Now, I will leave a link to their official website for this in the description below the video. You get a set of instructions and you are able to create two different sized prams. That's for the small pram. Now, we're not going to be making a small pram today. We're going to be making a larger one. But you'll notice the styrofoam that comes with it. If you choose to make yours non-edible, you can actually buy the styrofoams separately for the larger pram. However, in this tutorial, we're going to make all of ours 100% edible. So these are the parts that come in the patchwork set. It might look a bit complicated at first, but I assure you it's not. Simply take them all out of the packet and then we'll be making a start. Starting with a ball of 250 gram of fondant, you want to push it down so it's roughly one and a quarter of an inch deep. So it's the same depth as the strip cutter that's actually come with the set. I'm just smoothing this out with my rolling pin and then using a 78 millimeter circle cutter because this is the size of the pram and they do tend to come in with the sets, simply cut out a circle. Using the L-shaped marker that comes with the set, simply place this directly onto your fondant. This is just so we have an idea of where the lower half of the pram will actually be. And this section we will be cutting away with a knife. If you just take one of the pram cutters now and place it directly on your circle, you will be able to decipher whether or not you have got the right shape. Before we go any further and before the fondant starts to set, I want to add some support when we place it on the cake. So if you start by placing on one of the patchwork pram cutters first, just to give an idea where the wheels are actually going to be. The wheels will hide the support. For the support, I'm simply using cocktail sticks. So if you just push two of these into either side so that they are placed behind where each of the wheels will actually be, we're then going to leave this to set overnight. For the purpose of this tutorial, it's going on a cake dummy, but it will show you just how it will support it when it's actually on your cake. For the actual pram, I'm going to be using Saracino modeling paste and coloring it myself with this Squire's Kitchen Pink. If you have never colored Saracino model paste yourself before, I can assure you it's very easy, but you just need to let the Saracino go really soft. Now I find just kneading it for a while Plenty of body heat from my hands helps this happen. So just like you would with any kind of fondant or modeling paste, add a small amount of your food coloring and just knead it in until you get the color that you desire. The first thing we need to do is roll out some of our modeling paste. And then we're going to be using the strip cutter for the outside of the pram. Now this strip cutter is measured perfectly, so it will literally fit, as long as you've got the pram at the right depth, it will go all the way around and completely cover it, just to give it a more flawless finish. Because I'm using Saracino, this is going to allow me to roll this modeling paste really, really thin. So if you don't have any, I would highly recommend that you invest in some. Simply push down the patchwork cutter directly over your modelling paste and then if you give it a little bit of a rub on the surface, turn it upside down and just make sure it's cut out properly. Then you just gently remove this from the patchwork cutter. All we need to do now is apply this to the lower part of the pram that's been setting overnight. So if you just remove your supports, now the reason the supports have to be in there first is because the fondant starts to set. 
So at least we have the holes there so that we can add these back in very easily. And then using some edible glue, I am simply going to brush that on the lower side of the pram and add this strip of pale pink modelling paste. All you need to do now is replace your lollipop sticks with a small amount of edible glue just underneath. Whilst that is to one side setting, I have rolled out a very thin amount of Saracino model paste. Taking each of the patchwork crown cutters, simply cut them out from the modelling paste. Once you have cut out both of the prams and taken away the excess fondant, gently using your fingers, simply prise it away from the actual patchwork cutter. You may need to use one of your sugar art tools. You can use the cocktail stick, but take your time. And if you've done it correctly and you've got a really decent modeling paste, it will come away from the cutter just like so. And then you just want to repeat that with your other pram. To add this detailed strip that you can see just here, I'm choosing to use white Saracino model paste. And you just take the pram cutter, but this time we're just concentrating on that strip section. So gently push this directly onto your modeling paste, pull away any excess fondant and then we will just simply be sticking this directly to our pram with some edible glue. Using the large wheel cutter I have added a small amount of Trex vegetable fat. This is just because of the complexity of the shape and it will help us get this out of the patchwork cutter. I'm then going to remove the excess that you can see in the centre using a cocktail stick. And now once that is removed, again using the cocktail stick, I'm going to gently remove this from the actual cutter. These will then be stuck on to the wheel of the pram and you want to repeat it for the other three wheels. Now for the centre of each wheel, there's actually two cutters that you can choose from. One's a button styled cutter and the other one's a plain cutter. You'll notice I've coloured some of my Saracino model paste a darker pink. That's just so it contrasts nicely. And I'm going to be choosing to use the button cutter. So again, I'm just going to roll out my Saracino model paste. And then using this button cutter, cut out four. Again, you'll notice I am using my cocktail stick to actually remove these from the cutter. Using some more edible glue, simply add these to the center of each wheel. We are now going to add each side of the pram to the internal support that we've already actually made that's all edible. For this, I'm simply going to use some edible glue and attach one pram to either side. We just have a few more finishing touches to add, but this is what I have so far. So I've placed it into my cake dummy. You would place yours directly onto your cake. As you can see, the supports are hiding behind the wheels. All we're going to do now is tidy some sections up a bit, add a little bit more detail, and then we have our 100% edible pram. For the handle on the pram, simply roll out a sausage shape, the same colour as the actual pram, and using some edible glue, apply it to each of the handles. You'll find if you're using Saracino model paste, this is actually really easy to do and it will stay in place. Again, using white Saracino model paste and this time the frill cutter, I've added some Trex vegetable fat to this just to help it release easily. This will add a lovely frill around the top and the sides of the actual pram. I've already brushed this down with some edible glue 
and this will fit perfectly because they're all designed to measure from one side of the pram which obviously you can't see because that's facing me but if I go all the way around just here to the other side there we go and if we'll wrap around there lovely and just add that perfect finishing touch to your edible pram using the quilted blanket cutter and again white saracino model paste I'm going to cut a section out to place directly on top of the pram. You'll notice that I've added some silver edible pearls. The last thing that you need to do now is just roll out a couple of sausage shapes and apply them to the top rim of the actual pram. And there you have it. You've made a 100% edible pram. Perfect for your christening cakes, birthday cakes, baby shower cakes even. Very, very simple to make and you only need the patchwork cutters set. I hope I've helped you again today and I will be back soon with more new, completely free content. Happy baking everyone and take care.